How is it going guys? Winter Kills here and welcome to a brand new binder showcase video. I actually don't remember the last time I did one of these, but um, we got two binders now actually. Um, two binders. This one is my extra deck binder, all extra deck monsters. This one is uh, monster spells and traps. Uh, so I like to keep the two separated. Uh, everything else, uh, every, every other card I have is in those big dual devastator boxes and those um, gold sarcophagus megatons actually sorted alphabetically. Uh, for monsters, spells, and traps. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go through those um, or the other decks that I own. Just the things that are currently in my binder. Um, if there are other things that I mention, uh, they're not in the binder because they're in other decks uh, currently to keep them partially built uh, so that they're ready to be profiled or, you know, featured in a test and video or duel, whatever, at any given time. But at this point, before we go into the binder showcase, I want to mention a quick shout out to Imperium Duelist, provider of this amazing playmat you guys see me rocking here. Uh, provider of these stickers, actually. Uh, they have just released a brand new set of stickers. These are just a few. They also have other ones featuring classic spells and traps like Harpy's Feather Duster, Black Power Stone, Solemn Judgment, uh, Ring of Destruction. They have Scapegoat, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, as you see featured here, Raigeki, things like that. And they also have these brand new dice to sort of go along with the release of those stickers. Um, featuring the classic spells and traps as well. They remind me of the, the YCS dice that are themed after uh, different types of spells and different types of traps. Um, very high quality dice, absolutely love them. Um, you know, the uh, blue for the spells, the red for the traps, all available on the website. You can get it all for 10% off using that discount code WINNERKILLS10 off at checkout, whether you're buying a new deck box, uh, new dice, new play mat, new sleeves, whatever it may be, and it does help support the channel greatly. And also, if you guys are considering uh, buying anything on TCG Player, do not forget to use that affiliate link to TCG Player down in the description below. If you guys buy anything using that link, um, I will receive a small portion of the revenue of your purchase. And it does go a long way to help support me and the channel at no extra cost to you guys. And of course, lastly, if you guys want to go the extra mile to help support the channel and get in on some exclusive perks and rewards in the process, like behind the scenes photos of upcoming videos, early deck profiles, um, blooper reels, a dedicated spot for your name at the end of all my videos, um, consider hitting that join button below and becoming a member of the channel today. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the binder showcase. All right, so we'll start with this monster binder, which used to be my main binder, but it's now uh, defaulted as like a secondary uh, extra deck binder. Um, but we have here on the front page, obviously, uh, our synchros, it's separated by synchros, uh, then links and ixies and fusions, I believe. So everything's sorted by the summoning mechanic. Um, but we have two ibs, uh, we have the Armory Arm, Ultra Rare, uh, Super Dawn Draxer, Jump, uh, TG, Hyper Librarian, uh, two different rarities of Yazi, the Alti, First Dead, and the Secret, uh, and the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Horse Prince. I bought this a little while back for, like, Salmon Grade stuff, but never used it. Um, the DT Squad, or at least the, the part of the DT Squad that I have, uh, the, uh, Gungnir, the Dudoran, and the Bryo. No Trish yet, unfortunately. Uh, you know, the Wider Bahamut, the uh, Chevalier de Fleur, which has to be like the weirdest synchro I own. Uh, White or a Dolphin. Some more synchros here, uh, nothing really too noteworthy. Um, you know, some, some needle fiber targets, I guess, here. Uh, then moving forward, more needle fiber targets. Uh, High Speed Roy Chambara, Stardust Dragon, Extra Dragites, Cyframe Little Omega, Extra Raptite, uh, the Charge Warrior, Extra Blazar Dragons, etc., etc. Uh, onto the links here. Extra Marin set stuff, extra cross sheeps, uh, Mermel Abyssalis. I also want to mention at this point, uh, nothing in these binders is for sale or trade, uh, and any offers or ask, you know, asking what anything's for sale will just be ignored. Um, so I figured I'd throw that out there. Um, Alacia, some Trigate, uh, some Trisbania, uh, some more links here, some band links uh, like Bardiche, Goblin, Mermaid, Cumblar, Firewall, all the band squad together. Dagda actually just recently picked this up. Some dual overload stuff, Relinquish Anima. Pride of Plant Bear Anaconda. Um, just moving on, uh, some extra Gilgamesh. I order these cards in like play sets, so that's why uh, you see multiple of them. That's why they're just chilling here in the binder. Uh, like one of the few Plunder Patrol cards I own. Uh, some extra Nightmare stuff, some extra Tenyi stuff. Um, uh, some World Chalice stuff, uh, Adignister, Dark Templar. Uh, and that's really about it for the XC or the, the links into the XC's Alti Big Eye. Absolutely gorgeous. Extra Beatrice I'm not actually using in BA. Time Thief, per Time Thief Perpetuas. Um, Italian uh, Bahamut Shark. This one's not first edition. The other, the first edition one I have is in my Mermail deck. Um, but Italian Bahamut Shark looking absolutely gorgeous. Some Infinite Track stuff. Uh, Ding Ultra Rare. 
uh, first edition, uh, some more Ixies here, totally awesome, first edition uh, Invasion of Ven uh, Vengeance, um, Pleiades, first edition, Hidden Arsenal, um, all that stu good stuff here, and the uh, DT uh, Evil Swarm Nightmare. Uh, moving forward here, Alti Red Ice Flare Metal and Gold Rare Red Ice Flare Metal, a Spanish uh, MX Saber Invoker, uh, two first edition, Secret Rare Duelist Alliance Dantes, uh, German Hope Woven Spider Shark, um, a Minerva uh, Alti uh, Deltaros, first edition, uh, Secret Rare Illuminite, probably one of my favorite uh, Ixies monsters in the game. Uh, then into our fusions here, just a German Sky Striker token. Uh, but we have uh, Invoke stuff, we have some constructs, uh, different artworks. Um, sea Monster Theseus, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, uh, some Metal Foe stuff, Odd Eyes of Vortex, and some other random stuff here, some Shacks, uh, Trishula, Dragon of Icy Imprisonment, uh, Rare Fish from Mermail, and all that stuff back when I was playing like, uh, um, uh, like Instant Fusion and Mermail and stuff. The, the one Lonely Agar Pain, I think there's some like other stuff in here. Uh, as well, yeah, just some uh, banned play sets. Brilliant Fusion Engage, because uh, I really had no other place to put them. Um, so yeah, that's it for the uh, the extra deck binder with the beautiful stickers from Imperium. Uh, now move into the main binder here, um, with a little Monster Reborn sticker on it. Very, very nice. It actually does stick well to this sort of like uh, leather-like surface, um, so I was surprised to see that it would stick nicely to it. Um, but this is the this is my main binder. This is like the Ultra Pro. Um, binder with the uh, the little strap on it. And the nice thing about this one is that with a lot of when you have a lot of cards in it, the pages still sit flat. That's one of the things I like most about it. The, the monster one. The more cards you fit in it, it tends to like get fatter to the outside, and every card in here sort of gets like warped. So, um, or at least has the potential to get warped. So that's why I ended up making the switch to this. But uh, the front page here, bit of a star-studded front page. I mean, where do I begin? Uh, three Starlight Rare Marin says seahorses. Uh, three Italian Swap Frogs and three DT uh, Gen X Undines. Um, a beautiful watery front page. Again, shout out to the Prestige for hooking me up with these. Uh, thank you, absolutely thank you for these. These things are gorgeous. I mean to actually upgrade some Marin's of stuff, but um, definitely going to be a while before I did any of that. So, huge shout out to you. Um, yeah, fantastic front page. Probably one of the better front pages I've had in a long, long time. Uh, moving forward here, uh, Alti Deep Sea Kings, Alti Power Giants, uh, the Gizmet Kaku Supreming Sky Stag, or Supreme Shining Sky Stag, Secret Gamma Seal, Secret First Dead Mallies, Secret Galluses, Fortunately Unlimited, um, but I now have the super rare ones uh, for my Block BA deck, which may or may not be a playable deck after the next ban list, depending on the fate of Block Dragon. Uh, Artifact Lancia, these are just all hand traps here. Um, I, I just have like a whole hand trap arsenal. Uh, you know, Valor, uh, Dogwood, Ghost Reaper, uh, Red Blossom from Underroot, Ghost Bell, uh, Ghost Ogre, Ash Blossom, Gamma, and then Block Dragons here, my English copies. Um, you know, I have Nightmare Corrupt Ibly, some Jet Synchrons. I actually didn't own any Jet Synchrons personally, uh, so I just bought some commons and threw them in here. Because um, maybe if Needle Fiber gets the axe, you know, this card will still be useful in some way, shape, or form in some other decks, but probably not. Um, that's why I didn't want to buy any high rarity ones, just got the commons for now. Uh, in case I decide to splash that engine into sort of any other deck. Sea Archivers, uh, Extra Purple Nightfalls, uh, Ghost Ogres in the original uh, artwork, uh, the Ancient Warriors, Loyal Guan Yun. The only reason I have this in here is because it's like a, sort of like a pseudo Pankratops. Um, some Danger Stuff, uh, Chupacabras, uh, Mothmans, um, is aboard the Mega Monarch, some Trick uh, Performage, uh, Trick Clown stuff, uh, Juggler and Trick Clown, uh, some Ad Ignister stuff because I actually. Uh, in the few boxes of uh, Ignition Assault I opened, I did pull quite a few at Ignister cards. Um, I think the only place that I ended up getting was Doyen. Uh, English Guns, uh, Danko Sekas, two are new challengers. This one is Mega Pack 2015. Uh, then we have some True King uh, Barastos, the Fathomers, Fathomers, uh, Mech Knight Blue Sky, Ultra Rare Dark Greffer. Um, then we have three Junk Fords and three Zafion the Time Lords, Ultra Rare. Uh, extra BA monsters that I'm not currently using. Um, I'll probably need to actually complete play sets of all this BA stuff soon if Block Dragon gets the axe because we're probably going to go back to classic BA. Uh, then we have Infender Track, Anchor Drill, Archivador, Demar, Spanish, uh, Sea Archiver, uh, Saravis the Ancient, and Ascended. Uh, then we also have uh, the Trickstar Engine, Random Thunder Dragon cards, uh, some extra pikes, a Megalo, the third Megalo that I'm not using, uh, Alti Mermel Bisland, Alti Necroz of Gungnir, and Alti Glow Bulb, first edition. Unfortunately, I did get the axe 
a while back, but uh, my friend actually gave, a good, very good friend of mine gave this to me as a birthday gift, so uh, if you're watching this, thank you again. Fortunately, I can't play it, but still looks very, very nice in the binder. Um, absolutely fantastic card. Love it, love the artwork. Alti looks gorgeous. Uh, and then moving here, uh, more Thunder uh, Thunder Dragon stuff. Uh, Dragon Hawk Picari, extra Ashes, extra Nibiru, uh, that I'm not using in any decks currently. Uh, Bigfoot, uh, this is an Italian Gund. Uh, some Mythical Beast stuff, more Ancient Warrior stuff here. Uh, Psychic Weed Dealers, uh, Achichi at Igniser, Black Wings, Dean the Cloak, Rescue Ferret. Um, Fabled Sulkius, uh, one Super, one Secret. Uh, What's well, gonna get a DT one, but just wound up with going with the, uh, the Secret. Uh, Idlis, Extra Dangers, Miss Valley Thunderbird. Uh, more Danger stuff, uh, more Plunder stuff. The, uh, the DT, uh, Gen X Controller over here. Um... Yeah, just really some extra random stuff from engines that I'm not really using anything. Uh, you know, used to play three in like BA, but now we need one block BA. Uh, Sinister Serpent, uh, you know, uh, Max C, the one uh, secret rare copy that I own, Super Ronin and Dupe Frogs. I have commons of each of these two, uh, but I'm, I'm not having them in the binder right now. Uh, third Mathematician, uh, backup third tour guide if it comes to three. Uh, Sky Striker Ace Rose, Gen X Alley Birdman Super, I have one in DT as well. Uh, then moving on to the spells here, uh, Pinpoint Landing, Super Instant Fusion, Shut Off Fusions, two Lightning Storms. Pulled these uh, from two different boxes of Ignition Assault, so I'm probably going to complete the playset soon. Uh, Snatch Deal, Twin Twisters, Commons, uh, Interrupted Slumbers in uh, Super Rare, uh, Ultra Terraforming into the Void Ultra, uh, Cosmic Cyclone, three Common down here, and then the, uh, I, I forget what uh, set this this uh, Harpy's Feather Duster is out of, it's uh SDD, I think it's Stairway to the Destined Duel or something. Same, same set that the, that Sinister Serpent came out in. I'm not entirely sure um, what SDD is. I, I probably just said the completely wrong set. This one is uh, pretty sure maybe from the the same set. Yeah, this is the SDD uh, Sinister Serpent as well. I actually did play this in Mermail for a time, and I still think it's kind of a decent, halfway decent tech. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, form about Popper Ups, uh, more Agreed, Trickstar Life Sage, Hey True Nade. Some Galaxy Cyclones I have way more mind controls. I think they have like six Ultra Rares, but it's that one, unfortunately. Uh, extra Pot of Desires, Ultra Rare Instant Fusions, uh, Shared Rides, uh, and Gold Rare, uh, Silent Graveyard, Quick Launches. These ones are sliding out of place. Monstrosity, World Legacy, Guard Dragon, some just generic, generic good stuff spells. Uh, and then a little space for more spells as a buffer before the traps. Reborn Avarice, uh, different dimension on there can be only one. Dimensional Barrier, Secret Rare. Uh, original set, first edition. Or no, these are actually Mega Pack, but you know, sort of original. Close as, as you can get, I guess, without being original. Uh, summon Limit, Rivalries, Phoenix Chains, Storming Mirror Forces, Crackdown, the Solemn Strikes. Um, just some generic good traps. Uh, Typhoon, Unending Nightmare. These are first uh, set, uh, first edition Maximum Crisis. I bought these at YCS Pittsburgh 2017. Um, I remember that buying from the vendor right before the event started, siding them and never used them, I don't think. Uh, three goes and match, breakthrough skill, and some common waking the dragons. And then lastly here, one ulti abyssphere, trap trick. Pretty sure I have like another two trap tricks somewhere. It might be another deck, but um, I'm pretty sure I have a play set of these. And then two red reboot. Uh, and that pretty much, oh, and then one sales pitch back here. And some other stuff um, that I also forgot to move. But uh, regakis, mind controls, um, secret rare, uh, interrupted slumber, and a card destruction. And yeah, I think that's it. Um, I, knew I, was, I, I thought I was forgetting something in the back. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this uh, binder showcase. Um, I'm not sure how it is in comparison to the last one. Um, but all I know is my front page is probably a lot, a lot better um, this time around. All water themed as well. Very, very gorgeous looking uh, front page. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much gonna do it for this binder showcase video. Hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit different um, than the standard uh, video that we usually do. I'll probably update this again in maybe another three, four months. Who knows how long it'll be until there's some actual new stuff in this binder. Um, probably ordering a lot of Eternity Code stuff, a lot of um, like uh, Rise of the Duelist probably, and uh, who knows what else. Um, but yeah, and if we we will we'll definitely do an update again uh, for you guys soon. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you're interested in picking up these stickers or uh, any of these dice, uh, check out Imperium Duelist down in the description below. And don't forget to use that discount code. We're gonna kill us ten off to get ten percent off your entire order. 
on whatever you want, uh, you know, whether it be one of these beautiful construct mat bags um, or play mat, you know, your choice. It does go a long way to help support the channel, and of course, is greatly appreciated. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, Winter Kill is signing out. We'll see you guys in the next one. Of course, a special thanks to my Divine Level channel members here on YouTube, Academic Thick, Travis Harris, and Zors. Thank you guys so much.